vast jungles, stunning mountain scenery, hillside tribes and some of Thailand's best temples. The north of Thailand, and particularly Chiang Mai, is full of culture and colour. After many visits to Thailand, Chiang Mai remains our number one favourite place in the whole country and in this video guide we'll tell you exactly why. Join us as we share some of the best places to visit in and around Chiang Mai, including its stunning national park, hilltop Buddhist temples and hiking trails. We'll also cover the busy markets and historical attractions of Chiang Mai Old Town, and we can't forget the delicious food. Sit back and prepare to be amazed by the beauty of Northern Thailand. The heart of Chiang Mai city is known as the Old Town, it's surrounded by four tall walls and a man-made river stream. Each section of the wall has its own historic gate entrance and inside these four walls is where you'll spend most of your time. The Old Town is a bustling melting pot of culture, history and foodie delights. If you only have time to visit one of the temples within the four walls of Chiang Mai, then it has to be Wat Chedi Luang. Located in the very centre of the city, Chedi Luang is one of the best places to visit in Chiang Mai for impressive temple grounds and rich history. The 14th century temple complex is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, featuring protected temple buildings from throughout the ages. Give yourself around an hour to walk around this impressive complex. Just around the corner from Chedi Luang Temple is an important Thai monument. The Three Kings bronze statue symbolises the alliance between the Three Kings of Thailand and it has a lot of significance in Thai culture. You've probably seen photos online of the many hundreds of lanterns lighting up Chiang Mai skies, setting the scene for a unique and once in a lifetime experience. Lantern festivals take place in Chiang Mai at various times throughout the year including New Year's Eve and the November Yi Ping Festival. We visited for New Year and even managed to get hold of our own lantern just in time to see in the New Year. If you love nature and like to do a bit exploring on holiday, you must visit the famous Doin Thanon National Park. Inside the park you find a collection of impressive waterfalls, including the best of the bunch, the towering Wat Chirathan Falls. The waterfall streams have a cumulative height of 80 meters and you'll feel its sheer power as you get close. The spray of the water is a great way to cool down on a hot day. Another top thing to see at the National Park are the Royal Twin Pagodas, which were built in honour of the late King and Queen of Thailand. The pagodas are surrounded by lush, neatly manicured gardens, along with mountainous view of the area. Elsewhere in the park you have hiking trails, wildlife spotting opportunities, local Hmong tribe villages, plantations and viewpoints. One mountain in Doin Thanon is home to the highest point in Thailand, sitting at 2,565 metres above sea level. In our opinion, Chiang Mai is one of the top destinations in Thailand for food. It has everything you could ever dream of, from market stalls to local and more traditional restaurants and tourist-focused restaurants that do Western food very well. You'll taste countless delicious dishes during your time here, but be sure to try the northern dish of Thailand, Khao Soi. It's a spicy noodle broth dish that's served with either chicken or beef. Add a dash of chilli to it if you're feeling brave. If you love adventure activities, you're going to want to plan a hike during your visit. 
The surrounding jungles are full of epic walks and hikes. For a tamer hiking trail, we would recommend checking out Mong's Trail, which leads to Wat Phalat Temple. Located just a short walk away from the city centre, this nature trail will take around 45 minutes to complete, providing some nice forest scenery along the way. The trail is suitable for all ages and isn't too difficult, but be sure to wear trainers. Once you reach the top of the trail, you'll encounter the magnificent Wat Phalat Temple. Nestled deep within the mountainside with a panoramic view of town, this peaceful temple ground has a gentle flowing river, beautiful gardens and a quiet temple building with ornate decorations. If you're doing the hike, be sure to pack a shawl and a pair of trousers as you'll need to cover up when entering the temple. It's true when they say that you haven't really experienced Chiang Mai temples if you haven't visited Doi Sutep. This breathtaking temple is located at the top of the hill overlooking Chiang Mai. You can climb 300 stairs from the previous temple we've just showed you or jump in a taxi to get to the top. It has several smaller temple buildings, however the core of the temple is where true beauty lies. The centre of Doi Sutep is a bright golden array of pagodas, Buddha statues and decorations. We recommend visiting for sunrise or sunset where you'll get to see the temple glisten and the sky is lit up with shades of red and orange. You can't visit Chiang Mai without sampling the foodie and fashion delights of its famous night market. Made up of indoor bazaar and sprawling streets of stores, the city boasts one of the best evening markets in the whole of Thailand. Unlike other markets in tourist areas of the south, market stores here are affordable, authentic and a great place to shop. We personally found some excellent clothing and accessories. We recommend stopping by to grab some street food for dinner sample some of the many desserts and haggle for some clothing and souvenirs. We all love a good Thai market. Just along the road from Chiang Mai's night market is another market area known as Thape Walking Street. Unlike the night market, this is the only one open on a Sunday. Every week, it's jam-packed with tourists and locals, with stores selling all different types of delicious foods, unique clothing and homemade decorations. We recommend heading there for dinner. The food options are endless. One of the most impressive yet underrated attractions in Chiang Mai has to be the beautiful Raja Proect Royal Park. This huge botanical garden has countless art exhibits, water features, tropical plants and at its centre a grand pavilion. You can spend a couple of hours walking around the beautiful gardens, taking pictures of the tropical flowers and enjoying the peaceful grounds. Alone man-made, it's one of the most beautiful places you'll see in Chiang Mai. We recommend doing a combined trip to the nearby Wat Phra That Doi Kam, a giant Buddha statue that sits on the mountainside. We've already mentioned some of Chiang Mai's amazing temples. When visiting the old town, 
it's also worth seeing some of Chiang Mai's smaller temples. There are over 100 in Chiang Mai alone. I'm not going to try to pronounce the names of our favourites, but we've captioned them below. These three temples are all located within the four walls of the city, so why not either spend a morning or an afternoon exploring all three? One slightly less popular activity to do when visiting Chiang Mai is to visit one of the local tribal villages. The north of the country is famous for its indigenous tribes, with a lot of them continuing with their living with the land lifestyle to this very day. The Humong and Karen tribes are some of the most recognised tribes you can meet in and around Chiang Mai. We recommend visiting the Humong tribe in Doin Thanon National Park. Their villages are easily accessible and are often included as a stop-off point on group or private tours. The final market on our list is Wararot Market. It's a lesser known market to visit and the best place for shopping. Browse the stalls and you'll find the clothing quality and prices to be a lot better than the mass produced items in market stalls in tourist areas. Wherever you go in Thailand, there's always a trendy area that's popular with digital nomads and expats. In Chiang Mai, it's the quirky neighbourhood of Niman. It boasts a great cafe scene, many independent unique shops and cool art stalls. It even has a giant shopping mall. Niman is completely different to the older, more cultural old town. We recommend visiting in the evening as that's when the area really comes to life. Last but not least is Nong Had Public Park. The recently renovated park has several walking trails, a small lake, sports courts, an outdoor gym and an array of fountains. It may not be an amazing attraction in itself, however it's a beautiful place to relax away from the city. And just like that, we've come to the end of our video on the best things to do in and around Chiang Mai. It truly is a great place to visit, no matter what your interests are. If we had time, we would have liked to see more of the countryside and visited an ethical elephant sanctuary, so be sure to add those to your list as well. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more holiday content. We have one more video coming up in the Thailand series, so be sure to stay tuned for lots of Thailand beach inspiration.